in addition to talking about what programming is, I think it's important to also discuss a little bit of its history. So when it comes to the history of programming, many of the most important firsts in programming were done by women. So the first programmer is generally regarded to be Ada Lovelace, who was the daughter of famous poet Lord Byron. The first electronic computer, the ENIAC, was first programmed by six female mathematicians. Uh, one day before it was to be demonstrated, the machine didn't work. Betty, Jean, Jay, Bartik, and the other five female members of the programming team were able to get it up and running for the next day. And then originally, programming was exclusively written in numbers, mathematical equations, stuff like that. Uh, in the mid to late 50s, Grace Hopper found a way to use words instead of numbers, making programming much more accessible, uh, which led to languages like Flowmatic and COBOL, which you might not be familiar with, uh, but they were definitely important, and uh, there are still machines out there that run on COBOL and some of those. They're old, but when you're looking at infrastructures of, of organizations, companies, governments, they do still exist. So, let's talk a little bit about the first programmer. When most people think of a programmer, when they think of who the first programmer was, they're probably not thinking of Ada. They're probably thinking of more of what your media, what the stereotype would uh, would show, would demonstrate. But here's a, a painting of Ada. Uh, she was actually born Augusta Ada King, and she was the Countess of Lovelace. She is often credited as the first programmer, and she was the daughter of famous poet Lord Byron. Ada didn't know her father. Her mother, Lady Anna Isabella Byron, felt it important that she engage in rigorous studies of science and mathematics, and uh, that was rather unusual for a girl during this time period. At the age of 17, she met Charles Babbage, who would become her mentor. Uh, Babbage would eventually be known as a father of the computer, and is credited for inventing the first mechanical computer. And this is still like 1800s that we're talking about. So they didn't have all the electronics, so it was completely mechanical, completely physical. Here's Charles here, uh, 1860. In the late 1830s, Charles Babbage would begin to work on his analytical machine. This machine would be programmable with punch cards. A young Italian engineer, Luigi Menabria, attended a lecture by Charles Babbage at the University of Turin. Luigi wrote of the lecture in French, which was published in an academic journal from the University of Geneva in Switzerland. Ada was asked to translate this article. With it, she included her thoughts and ideas on the machine, uh, which ended up dwarfing the original article by three times and her notes included how the machine could use codes to handle symbols, letters, and numbers, essentially programming. Ada also theorized how the machine might be able to repeat a set of instructions, what we commonly refer to as looping in a program. Her document would later be published in an English academic science journal. Ada died at the age of 36 from cancer, this happened to be the same age that her father, Lord Byron, the poet, died. She didn't know her father, but at her request, she was buried next to him. Uh, Charles would live to age 79, uh, and we believe that he died from kidney failure. Charles was offered the rank of both knight and baron, but he declined on both. Uh, his youngest son, Henry, would continue his work. And that Italian engineer Luigi, what happened to him? Well, he earned a doctorate in mathematics, was named a count and a marquis, and became a professor, served as a general, a senator, an ambassador, and eventually became the seventh prime minister of Italy, living to the age of 86.